performance update with Coach Kevin Pedersen of this 16 and 3, 11 and 0 in Peach Belt Conference women's basketball team at Lander. I'm Ralph Patterson, and Coach, you have been on a roll. In fact, I've got to compliment you on last night's game against Armstrong. I started laughing when it was 20 to 6 because you were just hitting on all, all cylinders. Congratulations on the way you're playing right now. Well, thank you, Ralph. I appreciate it. That was one of those fun games where as a coach, you literally just sit there. We'd done all of our work in, in pregame and practice, and, and the players did a great job of executing the game plan, came out, and I think anyone who saw the game, you could see it's a great example of players who played together for four years. Brittany Johnson, Mukia Myra, Kalen Small, Sierra Lyons, everywhere they seemed to go on the floor, they knew where the other player was going to be. And it's just fun to watch when you see a group like that who's grown for four years culminating in the product you're seeing on the floor right now. And it didn't take long for Jasmine Judge to load up a couple threes, and, and, and it's just amazing what, what she's accomplished, and really your whole team so far. Well, I think with Jasmine Judge, the special thing with her, we've talked about this a lot, you can coach your entire career and never get a, a player like Jasmine Judge. In my opinion, she's by far the best shooting guard in the country. Uh, I hope at the end of the year she'll be recognized for such, but you're talking about a player, and this is interesting. You know, I don't know if you've ever seen this in your coaching career. She has made more threes by herself than our opponents combined this <laughs> season. And it's just, and she's just that type of player. So, but it, it's fun, you know, what she brings to the table. And then she's complimented by one of the quickest point guards in the country with, with Johnson, an all around player in Myrick, uh, a true power player in Kalen Small, and then one of the best drivers in the country in Sierra Lions. And they've really found a nice balance between them. So we mentioned 16 and 3 overall, 11 and 0 in the Peach Belt. But here's a crazy stat over the last, a couple of years, your Bearcats are 45 and three in Peach Belt play, and that's that just you know that's unfathomable, really. It is when you think about you know this being one of the strongest. It's basically like the ACC of Division Two, and uh, you know Clayton State national champions last year. There's there's always some really strong teams coming out of this league, and, and we've been knocking on the door in the postseason. We've been terrific in the regular season, going 45 and three uh, in the last three years. And it's great because this team has been in contention every year. We've been relevant uh, locally, we've been relevant regionally, and recently we've been relevant nationally. And that, that's what we've really strived for with this program, is first you try and be relevant in the conference, then you try and be relevant in the region, and then you try and be, when people talk about teams going after a national championship, you want to be in the conversation. And for the last two years, this is a team that people have talked about when they talk about who are the best teams that, that have a chance to win a national championship. Okay, so I, we've just talked about your crazy record and all the good things that you're doing, but I know you're a coach and you always work on, on getting better. If you could pick two or three things that your team could improve on right now, what would those be? Well, I think the two obvious ones right off the bat would be rebounding and free throw shooting. You know, we, we've gotten a lot better. Our shooting percentage has climbed up. The, the folks of this team is really what's making them good right now. They come to every game. For the last three weeks, they've come ready to play every single game. And we, it's funny you bring that up because we were just talking in the locker room last night. February is the month where we're a team that looks like we're going to be relevant in March. We're going to be playing in the postseason. So February is your month you've got to get better. Because come March, you don't get better in March. By March, you've got to be playing at a very high level. So we've got one month to get better. And the two key areas we focus in are we've got to be a better rebounding team. Because you know, some games we're fine. Some, day, some days we get out-rebounded by, by 5 or 10. And then the other area right now is, you know, you look at Myrick, you look at Lions, we can shoot better from the free throw line. That's an area that has got to improve. When you're playing close games and you're playing the best teams in the country, you know, we're not shooting well enough from the free throw line right now. When you get in a close game, that we're going to be very comfortable with that. Now, there, there was one thing in last night's game against Armstrong. You forced 35 turnovers. 35? You only had 10. <laughs> and, and sometimes as I watch you play, yeah. I cringe, and I admire you for the way that you've been able to handle your team turn it over some just because of the pace that you play, but you only had 10 turnovers last night. That's awesome. It, it's a give and take. It's just like I said, the, t the challenge is when you play up and down like, like we like to play, it, it creates more possessions. There's opportunity for more turnovers. And, and luckily, we practice that speed, so we, we try and get ready for that. But, you know, we led the nation in assist to turn ratio last year. We were statistical champions there. Uh, second year in a row, we've done that. And, and that's been a strength. You know, we're putting four guards on the floor. Our ball handling is a little bit better than most teams. And that has kind of been the area that's counteracted our ball control, taking care of the ball, forcing more turnovers, has kind of counteracted what we've done on the boards. We may be giving up some on the boards with that smaller lineup, but we're getting it back in about a plus 10 per game turnover ratio. All right, Coach, it's now time for the good news, bad news portion of the show. You have eight phenomenal senior players that all have just great roles for this team. That's the great news. The good news is they're gone next year. So how are you preparing for that? Yeah, it, yeah, I guess the bad news is with, with them leaving next year, 
it's kind of the culmination. It's exciting, but it's also a little bit depressing. You look at how much they've grown over four years. And, and you know, they come in as freshmen and win the conference tournament as freshmen and then just kind of build from it. You look at their progression and it's amazing. Their first year they go, they come in, we're starting four freshmen and sophomore. They win the conference tournament, make the NCAA tournament. Their second year they go 27 and four. They're the number one seed in the NCAA tournament in their second year. The third year they, they up it by going 29 and four, being ranked number one in the country for four weeks. And then they come back now their senior year, they're undefeated in the conference, they're 16 and three overall. They just won at Clayton State, uh, snapped a three year uh, winning streak at home. And now you get to, now they're seniors and, and you've got to replace them. And, and it's, it's exciting when you look at, we get a chance to start all over again. We're gonna bring in another group. And that's one of the rare things you've seen with, with us at Lander. We love, it. you know, a lot of teams say, well, give me four freshmen, four sophomores, four juniors, four seniors, and let's have balance. And we just kind of go against the grain and say, listen, we want, we want to load up on one or two big classes and we want them coming in. You know, I want to have eight people that come in and play together for four years. And it's a rare situation you see at the college level where you can come in and just imagine we're together for four years. Well, you know me, I know you. Uh, and that's what you're seeing on the floor right now is players who've been together that they know what's going to happen before anyone else knows what's coming. And we're looking for the right players who can come in. We've got, a, we've got four kids already locked up. Uh, Erica Judge and Bria Lonnan are sitting out this year for us. They're fantastic players. Everyone's going to enjoy watching them play. Uh, but that's the fun part. Nicole Shumay and I were on the road right now, and we're looking for those, those other four players that can come in here. And, and we're offering a unique situation where they can come in and they can start and be an impact player on one of the what's become a traditional powerhouse nationally. And, and it's fun to go and say, listen, if you want to come in, if you want to win, and you want to graduate, those are the two things we'll promise you. If you come here, I guarantee you're going to win a lot of ball games and you're going to get your degree. And not only are you going to do that, but you're going to play as a freshman. You know, you're not, we're not asking you to come and sit the bench. We're going to throw you out there, and we're going to you're going to learn your first year. We're going to build, and you're going to have the chance to to be a a player. We're going to count on for four years, which is, you know, not a lot of teams in the country can offer someone what we're getting ready to offer uh, some recruits in the spring. That's great. Well, and so we've got the regular season wrapping up, postseason tournament for the Peach Belt Conference, and then on to the NCAA tournament. Uh, can't wait to watch and see how that goes. So good luck the rest of the year. Well, thank you. We're looking forward to it. For Coach Kevin Pedersen, I'm Ralph Patterson. Thanks for joining us for another award-winning Lander Bearcat Sports Update.